Mark. We're at, auto sequence has been initiated. We're at T minus nine minutes and counting now. All countdown events are now being controlled by the ground launch sequencer till T minus 31 seconds when the countdown will be handed off to Discovery's onboard computers. Over a million parameters now are going to be verified in the next nine minutes. Orbiter test conductor is about to request Houston flight. Configure fuel cell, essential bus source switches. CLT, that can work. Orbiter test conductor about to request Houston flight to send stored program commands that are part of the final update for the orbiter's antenna management and any frequency changes that might be necessary. Which is our OTC configured. OTC copies. We're now verifying 11 space hab launch commit criteria. Getting ready to retract the crew access arm. CLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. And the orbiter access arm now being moved away from the access hatch. It can be moved back into position in about 15 seconds should that become necessary. Next milestone is the pre-start of the auxiliary power units in about 50 seconds. T minus six minutes, 30 seconds. JRPS OTC. JRPS OTC, start APU and hydraulic strip recorder. Copy, recorders are going. PLT OTC, perform APU pre start. PLT APU pre start. Pilot Eileen Collins now putting the pre-start in work. DLP three gray top six. OTC copy. Five minutes is the last point at which we can hold for any length of time. At that point, we'll be starting the auxiliary power units. Standing by to start the auxiliary power unit in 10 seconds. That command will be given to pilot Eileen Collins. CLS is go for orbital AP start. PLT, OTC, perform AP start. PLT, AP start. And CDR, OTC, reconfigure heaters. And what? Starting the liquid oxygen drain back, terminating the replenishment of liquid oxygen to the tank now. And heater reconfigure complete. OTC copy. Space shuttle main engine fuel valve heaters are being turned off. OTC, PLT, three good APUs. OTC copy. Standing by to start the main engine helium pert sequence.
T minus four minutes. Yellow, let's go for approach sequence four. Preparing now to gimbal the main engines of the orbiter and the flight controls. We see now the orbiter's elevon being moved. This is a final check of the flight controls and steering commands. Main engine gimbal coming up here in about five seconds. Engines now being steered through their flight profile. Standing by to pressurize the liquid oxygen tank in about five seconds. CLS is go for ET, LO2, pressurization. Standing by to retract the Cox vent arm, the Cox beanie cap. TLT OTC, clear caution and warning memory and verify no unexpected errors. TLT, that's in working and no unexpected errors. OTC copy. Cassius oxygen vent hood now being moved off the top of the tank and retracted to the launch position. Liquid oxygen tank now at flight pressure. Discovery crew, OTC, close and lock your visors. Initiate O2 flow. Have a good flight. That's been working. Thanks a lot. CLS is go for ET, LH2, pressurization. Terminating the liquid hydrogen flow to the tank now, pressurizing that tank. One minute, 30 seconds. Air is confirmed flowing into the astronauts' helmets. Standing by to turn off the heaters on the solid rocket booster joints. And then we'll have a final check of the Booster One commands. Time. T minus forty five seconds. External tank strut heaters are off. Standing by to hand off now to the onboard flight computers. We have a handoff. Discovery's computer is now controlling. Five. Solid rocket booster Point nozzles being gimbaled. T minus 18 seconds. Solid rocket boosters Ten. armed. Sound suppression water system activated. Ten. T minus 10 seconds. Go Ten. for main Ten. engine start. Ten. Main engines now started. Main engines up and running. Three, two, one and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery on a mission to prepare for the next era of world cooperation in space. Hello, program, Houston. Roger, roll, Discovery. Houston is now controlling Discovery on its 20th trip to space. Discovery rolling on course for an orbit with the Mir space station. Mir currently half a world away above the Indian Ocean. Three engines on Discovery now throttling down to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the air of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. Discovery already traveling 700 miles per hour, two miles northeast of the launch pad, altitude four miles.
Discovery, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. Three engines on Discovery are now back at full throttle. Discovery speed is 1,100 miles per hour, eight nautical miles above the launch pad, six nautical miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. One and a half minutes since launch, Discovery's already burned more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at launch. Discovery's altitude now 17 nautical miles, 15 nautical miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery traveling 2,800 miles per hour. Flight controllers standing by for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Booster officer confirms a good separation and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Discovery now in its second stage, three main engines. Discovery, two engine tau. Two engine tau. That call indicating that Discovery can now perform a transatlantic landing at sites in Spain and Morocco if required. However, all three engines operating well, all systems go. Discovery, performance nominal. We can't.